Let's take another look at subtraction. We understood subtraction in a variety of ways, but one of the ways that we can understand subtraction is as a change. So suppose we have a quantity that starts at 5 and goes to 10. Let's see, when might that happen? Oh, I know. Suppose the price of an item was $5 yesterday and $10 today. So that means that if I went to buy it yesterday, I could buy it with one $5 bill. And today, if I went to buy it, I would have to pay two $5 bills. What has the change been? How much has the price changed? Well, the price has changed by one $5 bill. Right? The price has changed by $5. Hmm. Okay. Let me tell you another similar story. What if the price of the item was $10 yesterday and 5 today? So yesterday it was 10 and then today it was 5. Now, again, the difference really seems to be just $5. But these two stories are definitely not the same. How do we understand the difference between the stories? Well, in the first story, the change was an increase. And in the second story, the change was a decrease. The way that we indicate that is to say that the first change was positive and the second change was negative. We call that the signed change. The signed change in a quantity is defined in terms of subtraction, but it's always defined as final amount minus starting amount. Now, we know how to make sense of that in the first example. When the price goes from $5 to $10, well, $10 minus $5 is five dollars. But what about the second story? When the price goes from ten dollars to five dollars, according to that definition we have to say ten dollars minus five dollars. What? Well, according to what we saw in the pictures, we still expect this difference to be 5, but it's going the other way round. To indicate that it's going the other way round, we call it negative. In order to be able to do this subtraction, smaller minus bigger, we need to introduce new numbers, the negative numbers. In the next video, we'll learn about these negative numbers and their properties.